Sydney looks set to have another extraordinary building to show off to the world and attract tourists. The visionary Canadian architect Frank Gehry is developing a design for the old dairy farmer's site in inner Sydney's Ultimo. Move over Opera House. Is this going to be Australia's next icon? The old industrial site beside the Powerhouse Museum is in the sights of architect Frank Gehry, who's famous for the awe-inspiring Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao. It doesn't cost a lot more to do all that stuff. You just need uh, site space. There we had the room and we had the, the zoning allowed us to do that. Uh, here you're, you're more constrained. It's a coup for Sydney's University of Technology. It's hired Mr Gary to come up with a concept for its new Faculty of Business. UTS believes his work show he's the right person to represent the university's own fusion of creativity and technology. And the Canadian architect is no stranger to campus buildings. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology was one of his designs. But reaching out to the community in this small space will be challenging. I'm just playing around to see where, the, where we make those connections and this, where's the front door of this thing. Bringing on board someone with such a high profile has been given the tick by local architects. Frank Gehry is a peculiar architecture of, of, of a particular style and uh, that's something we haven't seen in Sydney before so that will introduce a, a new language to the city which will open up the debate about public architecture. I think that's a very healthy thing. Hopefully it'll be a good investment too. Famous buildings do become tourist icons in themselves and so that can only stimulate the economy and attract more people and more interest in Sydney. The concept should be ready next year. Then if UTS decides it fits the brief and it can fund the building, it will be up to the City of Sydney to give the final approval. Deborah Rice, ABC News, Sydney. And there'll be an extended interview with Frank Gehry on the 7.30 report after this bulletin.